Hi guys, welcome back. So today I decided to do something a little different. As you can see, I already did um, a look for today. It wasn't any look in particular. Um, of course, I have to give props to Tori, my paparazzi um, dealer. Uh, she's great and I always love her stuff and I've had this. I just got it and it was sitting there and it just spoke to me today. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, today I am just going to be reviewing lip plumpers. So one of my favorite lines is Too Faced. So I have two different kinds. I do believe the one actually comes out a certain shade. So we'll get that ready. So I will do that one first. So I have Too Faced Lip Injection. If you can see that, I don't know if there's a glare and everything. I'm sorry, guys. I'll get it right one year. So we're going to try this. I believe this might come out a little purple, so I might be looking a little crazy for a little bit. It actually does come out pretty clear. So this is the first one. Um, the best thing, if you like a plump lip, is to make sure that you exfoliate. So I have a lip scrub here. I'm sorry, guys. Obviously, it wasn't too set up for today, huh? So I have a lip scrub that I got from a woman off of Etsy and it's like a strawberry so it tastes good and you literally just scrub it on wipe it off and pretty much as soon as you put it on you can actually feel and see because what it does is um like even if you took a toothbrush which you can also do if you don't want to go out and spend money on any of these type of cosmetics if you just want to do it at home with what you have you can um, take a toothbrush and for two minutes, I wouldn't do it any longer, just kind of run the brush in like a circular motion over your lips, top and bottom. And um, yeah, I wouldn't do it any longer than like two minutes because then um, it gets really uncomfortable throughout the day. Uh, so you would do the mask, wipe it off, and then I try to put like a I have this lip therapy that I put on. Um, you can use any type of gloss, balm, something to moisturize your lips and then put your uh, lip plumper over top of it. So this one, you can actually feel it working now that I've had it on for a few minutes. I kind of feel the tingle. It's not like a bad burn. Um, when you feel a tingle, it's good. I'm going to show you guys one here that I will never use again. I put it on one day and I'm not sure why I put it on in the first place because I definitely was going to work where I, you know, wear a mask. So I'm not sure why I did it. I guess just out of habit, I put it on. So I ended up having to wipe it off, which I would have done anyway because my lips were on fire. And um, I actually forget where I got that one, but I'm, that's going to be like the last one that I show you. But I definitely want to show you guys because just in case. It's definitely not a good feeling. So yeah, you put it on and after like a minute or so, uh, maybe longer, you start to feel like a little tingling. So I'm going to wipe this off. I do like this one. And then just wipe it off. So I also have another one. This is Instant and Long Term lip plumper. This is just a clear one. It's also Too Faced. We'll see. This is, I'm sorry. It has like all kinds of lip color in it because I use it all the time. This is my favorite one. Like I said, it's Too Faced as well. But um, 
I don't know, I guess I like this better than the other one, and that may be just because the other one that I have is like a purple shade, and if I put another shade on or I'm not wearing purple, I guess I assume that it's going to tint and look a little funny. But yeah, you guys can see it just, there's always a little shine to it, and with that tingle, it does the same thing that you would do at home with the, you know, brushing your lips, or you can also kind of make your own scrub. I think eventually I'm going to make my own lip scrub. Um, and basically it's Vaseline, cinnamon, and sugar. So the sugar is the part that does the scrubbing, so that's the exfoliator. And the Vaseline gives that moisture. And then, of course, the cinnamon gives the little tingle. So all of those ingredients pretty much. And then I'm sure people add their own little different, you know, ideas and you know, kind of things they want to try out, but it seems kind of cool. I see that a lot of people are doing it. I would like to, really like to try my own. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a tingle now. And basically, it's just like the other ones. You do feel it a little bit. Um, I've always wanted to get actual lip injections, but I definitely don't see me doing that at any point in time. I don't like pain at all by any means. So surgery, I don't really, I don't think I've done had any surgery at any points in my life. So I don't think I'm going to do that. So this is what I do instead of that. And you know, the little tips and tricks. And I'm sure if you were to Google it, if you're as much into, you know, lip plumping and big juicy lips as I am, I just Google it and I'm sure people have tried all kinds of stuff. Okay. So I actually really like the e.l.f. products. I know some people probably... I'm sorry, guys. It's that ring light that it's reflecting off of. It really just says e.l.f. lip plumping gloss. It doesn't really say much more than that. And it's clear. I actually like e.l.f. I know a lot of people think because it's a cheaper brand that that's probably how it goes on. It fits and wears, but anytime I've used an e.l.f. product, I actually really like it and prefer it over some of the higher name brands. Um, and the next two I'm going to try are actually Victoria's Secret, the one I've had forever. So even if I showed you that one, you wouldn't be able to see it. I'm pretty sure the one is like a light pink, the other one's a clear. I try to get clears so that I can put it on whatever I'm wearing because I actually never used to change my shade of lipstick. And now I see that I'm getting more into using different shades. And surprisingly, I like it. I don't have a problem with it yet. Um, I was always super afraid to wear like bright reds because, you know, just something, not everything works for everybody. We'll just put it that way. And um, so I just didn't want to have that problem. So I am starting to feel it tingle and it just kind of gives a shine and it does actually, you know, that tingle and as you're brushing and the exfoliation, that all gets uh, the blood flowing under your lips so it does actually work and doesn't like make them extremely big obviously by no means will it look like you went and had cosmetic surgery but it will if you took a before and after shot and you can actually try it out I've done that take a picture before you put it on take a picture after and you'll see a slight difference and it actually looks really nice like if you put on a whole face of makeup and then top your lipstick off with that it looks really good so this is the elf one i really like that one this is called pump me up and that is victoria's secret this is like the light pink one i believe actually it might actually be a nude shade but come out clear Yeah, this is like a nude shade, but it definitely comes out clear. 
that one you can feel immediately. Um, and it's not a burn, it's just like a little tingle. Slightly more of a tingle than the lip injection by Too Faced. Um, definitely more of a tingle than the e.l.f. So it depends on how much of the tingle you can take and, you know, how long you want to sit through that because you literally put it on and it stays there. I mean, obviously it'll come off if you're eating or drinking or whatever, but, you know, when you reapply if need be, but it kind of depends on what you're able or willing to tolerate. Um, I know a lot of people who don't like that at all. They can't stand it. I know a lot of people that don't like lip glosses at all. They don't want any type of shine. They don't want any plumper, you know, and I mean, I get it. Everybody has their different things. So pretty much whatever you feel comfortable in. You know, everyone has their own little routines that they do daily. Okay, so like I said, this one is an older one. You can't really see it. This one is clear and it is Victoria's Secret. This one is like a little thicker than the other one. I don't really know how I feel about that. That's probably why I haven't used it in a while. So this is the Victoria's Secret. And it just says Custom Color Plumper. Um, it has like a iridescent pinkish purplish packaging. And... Um, that one's a little thicker, and I'm trying to see if it actually, if I can feel it. It's definitely different than this one that I tried before. This one, I would say personally for me, would be the better of the two because I don't like that thick, sticky feeling, and I'm feeling like that. The one that I just put on is a bit sticky, and it doesn't really feel like it's doing much, to be honest. For me, I have to feel that little bit of tingle, at least, for it to be doing anything for me. So I would not recommend that one. Again, this is, uh, I don't even know if they have this packaging anymore. They may not sell it like this, but uh, it's Victoria's Secret Custom Color Plumper, and it is in like a pinkish, purplish, iridescent tube. I would recommend this one highly. I really like the way that one went on. Okay, now this one is Femme Couture Lip Booster Plumping Serum. So this is a serum. I don't remember the last time I used this, but this is like a, pretty sure this is a clear, it goes on clear. This one I could feel immediately. This one would probably, I would think would be better. Can't really see the back is worn, the words are gone. But I would think that this one would be one of those ones that's probably better to do like at home daily routine before you put on your actual lipstick um, or whatever it is that you use on your lips um, because this is more this seems to be more of like a treatment. The other one is more cosmetic, I guess you would say. Yeah, I felt like a little tingle, but not so much. I don't know. I, I don't know that I would recommend that one either, guys. That one didn't really do too much for me. Okay. I'm sorry, I just have to put... A little bit of chapstick on here. Okay, so the next one is LA Colors Lip Plumper. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, as my hands are covering. And this looks like a nude, but it has like a shimmer in it. I don't know if I've used this actually yet. So this will be my hair sign trying it as I'm reviewing it, which is kind of cool. 
we can learn together about this one. Yeah, this one has a bit of a nude tint. But you really can't see it. It does have a bit of a shimmer, if you can see that. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to give it a minute. Um, I have another one here before I get to that last one that, for me, is a big no-no. Um, I'll read you the name and everything. Uh, the other one, the last one that I'm going to show you, I'm not even going to put on because it's really bad. And I mean, like, it hurt so bad that, like, my lips felt like they were on fire. Also, were bright red. Like, I mean, I couldn't even see my own shade of lipstick. It was bad. It was really bad. I would not recommend it. But I know people like to try different things. So, I mean, if you're willing to try things, you absolutely go for it. Everyone's pain tolerance is a little bit different. I know I will not wear that again. Um, and I don't know how I feel about this one. I like the shine, but I don't feel a tingle. So, I mean, I would wear it as a gloss, maybe not a plumper, because I don't feel as though it's really doing much. But that's just me. The color's nice, though, and it does make your lips shiny. So there's that. Okay, so the next one, I, think, I don't think I've used this either. I got this the other day. It is Pink Ice from Rue 21. Oh, Lord. This light is getting in the way. Pink Ice. So, again, I get to try it. As I'm reviewing it for you guys, clear, it's a bit thick, but I mean, you can probably tell that from the packaging. I'm actually tasting it, doesn't taste good at all, I don't know why. I don't know why I just did that, but... I'm not feeling a tingle. I'm trying to give it a minute. I thought that it actually had shimmer in it because if you can see the bottom half, but that's just the packaging now that I'm actually touching it. Um, yeah, I thought there would have been like shimmer or sparkle or something in there. It does not taste good, guys. Like you can, I don't know if it got on my teeth or what. So, yeah, I don't see that it's doing much because, I mean, now I feel it a little bit. So, this one actually does have a tingle. It has a nice shine. The pain is, I mean, I feel as though I can tolerate it. It just wasn't, you know, very quick acting. I guess I have no patience, so... That would be why. And last but not least, I will not be putting this on. This is called Maximizer. I don't remember where I had gotten this from. I'm trying to see it. I must have had it for a while because I can't really read it. There's an E on the top. That's all I can tell you. Oh, do I have that upside down? Oh, now I do. Yeah, so it just has an E on the top. It says, kiss something or other. The words are like half scratched off. I think I've had this for a while and hadn't maybe hadn't used it in a while and I pulled it out to use it and it burns. And I mean, as soon as you put it on, it burns. Um, so I definitely would not recommend if you see this be careful. <laughs> so I would have to say I still stand by my favorites. Too Faced. Absolute favorite. I don't know if you guys can see that because of this light. They work really well. Also, Victoria's Secret, Pump Me Up. Extreme Lip Plumper. That one works really well. Um, 
the e.l.f. lip plumper and the L.A. colors. They're like a, I don't know what category to put them in, but they're definitely not my favorite, but I did like the shine and I could feel a little. And the booster, I feel like that's something you use like daily, not even on top of anything going out or whatever. It's just something that you coat your lips in. So that is it for the video today. I will try to get back to looks tomorrow. Um, this was very exciting for me because I absolutely love lip plumpers. Lip plumpers and lashes are my absolute favorite, guys. So thank you for letting me do this. And if there's anything out there that you guys like or like to use, like to do with your makeup, um, let me know in the comments and I can actually try to, if you like videos like this, I can do some more and we can review items um, and you can leave me whatever it is that you want reviewed. Like, comment, share, and let me know what you're thinking and have a good night guys. Bye.